Hello everyone, my name is Anton and I'm a developer advocate at Chance Tech. Today we are diving into automated trading on Hyperliquid Dex with an open source grid trading board. Whether you are exploring DeFi automation or learning about perpetual trading strategies, this tutorial will get you up and running in minutes. Hyperliquid is a high performance Dex built on its own L1 blockchain. It consists of two components, Hypercore and Hyper EVM. In this tutorial, we work with the Hypercore part only, since it stores the order block of Hyperliquid DEX. The bot is built using the Hyperliquid Python SDK. It can serve as your starting point for adding other DEXs and strategies. It's definitely worth checking it from the time, as we are going to update it with new features and learning examples upon requests from the community. For this demo, we've implemented simple grid trading strategy. Grid trading works by creating a grid of buy and sell orders. When the price moves down, we buy. When it moves up, we sell. The bot automatically manages these positions, capturing profits from market fluctuations. Before starting development, you'll need testnet funds. Go to the Hyperliquid testnet DEX and request USDC for your testnet wallet. Also, you can go to Chainstack Faucet to request uh, hype tokens. Let's set up the bot. After you have cloned the repository, navigate to the project folder and uh, install dependencies. We are using vpackage manager, so you need to run this command to install all dependencies. I really like it, you don't even need Python installed on your machine. UV manages everything by creating a virtual environment in your folder. Okay, so next thing, you need to generate API credentials. Navigate to Hyperliquid DEX to API page and generate a new pair of credentials. Authorize API wallet. Then you can use this API key to access your funds on the Hyperliquid DEX. Now let's dive deeper into the bot. The first thing which I want to show you is that bot uses YAML for configuration. The format can be familiar to you if you already heard of our pump fund bot, I highly recommend you to check it. This configuration file contains all perimeters and arguments required for trading. Basically, each config file is an instance of your strategy. So in this case, we have a name, we can enable disable config file, we can enable disable testnet, we can specify allocation, we can specify how many orders we would like to place and other useful things like stop loss, take profit, max drawdown, etc. So you are welcome to test them and to suggest improvements. Now let's start the bot. We can run it with the UV run command. So it discovers the config file in the bots folder and starts trading. So here we see that the bot places all orders, it's grid levels based on current price. So let's check the Hyperliquid interface to make sure that we have those orders open. Yep, nice. So we have these orders here, the bot is working. What happens next is that uh, bot tracks or monitors if any of the orders filled and then tracks positions according to defined stop loss and uh, take profit and other perimeters. Also the bot will rebalance the orders in case of uh, sharp changes in the current price. For beginners we have a folder with learning examples where you can check standalone scripts for some basic operations which we use in this bot. For example, monitoring prices, getting all prices, getting market metadata, getting open orders, account info, uh, placing and cancelling orders. Also, we have recently added how to get funding rates. Just to demonstrate you how it works, let's run one of the examples. So 
So it shows the price changes in the um, assets we specified here. This bot has been built with extensibility and modularity in mind, and I highly recommend you to test it and try to add your own strategies, starting with learning examples. Uh, in this wrapper, we added rules for coding agents. So this way, development with the help of AI agents may be more predictable and reliable. And uh, I uh, recommend you start to start with learning examples. For example, you can ask AI to first generate some standalone scripts for your potential strategy. Once uh, those standalone scripts are tested and uh, verified, then you can proceed and build your strategy based on those scripts which already tested and checked. So I would say that's it. Submit issues, suggest features or contribute your own strategies through GitHub. Find all the useful links in the description to this video. Thanks for watching. See you.